Um, we are back for round two of the Mono Blue Aggro Gauntlet, where we see if Curious Obsession is the real deal. I what? am curious and yeah. somewhat obsessed with figuring this out. Did, uh, I guess you did stream with BBD last night, so... Local uh, friend Brian Brown doing. Local friend Brian Brown doing. <laughs> and the, uh, the puns are just kind of flaking off of you. <laughs> <laughs> no, they've just they've fully gotten in there. Okay. Uh, yeah, we've been we've been going to too many tournaments together and that's fair. That's they're fair. they're they're just they've latched on. <laughs> uh but yeah, so this this uh, particular deck is uh it's very fragile and 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 I think that um what you're going to see a lot with this the strategy is that you're not going to see um sorry, someone hit the cardboard live thing. I have to do this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the the way this deck works, it it, it works a lot like Blue White Heroic did a few years back, in that you you want to try to assemble a creature with Curious Obsession on it, and then use cards like Dive Down and Wizard's Retort to protect that creature from removal. Um, it starts a steamroll effect. If you play a, a you know a, an evasive creature on turn one, and then you're able to put a Curious Obsession on it and start attacking on as early as turn two, drawing a card, extra card every turn, you're going to steamroll your opponent if you're able to protect this card. And uh, if you're not able to protect this card, though, everything kind of falls apart. So one of the uh, one of the things about this matchup in general, we're playing Is It Drakes against it now. Is when when Is It Drakes is on the draw with a red source on tap and a shock against a one drop. What do you do? You know, like do you wait for for the Cure Obsession? Because if there's a dive down, you just auto, almost automatically lose the game. Um, and you're a poker player, right? Yep. It feels just like the check raise. You don't know what to really do, what to expect in that situation. Yeah, I mean, and, and, when, and, and when, when be... people first started using the check raise, it was like, okay, this guy's got it. And then people figured out, well, I can check raise and bluff people. Yeah. Oh, this changes everything. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, like the, the turn one mountain untapped. It's like, uh, from my side, it's like, okay, do, is he trying to wait on me? Why would he try to wait on me? Is his hand that bad? You have to factor in, like, Ten different things. Oh, it's 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 a level game on turn one and standard, and there's so few of those. I'm gonna check my opening hand here. Oh yeah, am I on the player of the draw? We have to roll. Crap. That's the new thing. Okay, you're right. You're right. Um, yeah. So this right, matchup. I roll I... again. Yeah, sure. Oh, ten. Oh, right. I'm on the play. Nice. <laughs> um, so th this matchup, I think, is uh, just centered around um, trying to protect my creatures from shock and lava coil. I don't really lose on board very much because your deck, like other than Goblin Electromancer, your creatures are not like super cheap. Um, so I can and and like against like Golgari, I lost because you were able to uh, just kind of spray the board with threats. Um, a lot yeah. of them generating two for one, and you know I wasn't able to keep up. Uh, your removal spells uh, sometimes overloaded me, but mostly I was just losing the race. You know, even if I had drawn enough protection spells, I was still losing to Wild Growth Walker plus all these creatures on the battlefield. Mm -hmm. In this matchup, yeah, you 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 are also kind of like a protect the queen deck, except you don't actually try to protect. You're trying to uh, like grind me out with just a lot of really efficient big threats, like Enigma Drake, Crackling Drake. This is more this is more like the uh, the B strategy of. Of instead of protect the queen, is feed the queen. <laughs> it's just <laughs> bring all the resources for the queen to kill in one turn. Yeah, uh, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. This matchup does seem pretty interesting. You won the die roll. I'm uh, keeping. Okay. Do you want to field some questions before we start? Or? Are you keeping your hand? No, I'm mulliganing. Okay, right. mulligan. Yeah, we'll do some questions <laughs> while you're mulliganing. Beef Nick. Sandwich Twenty Eight says, uh, "Congrats to Brad on the Grand Prix and the PT runs." Thank you. And Thank then you. we have a um, question from last round that was brought up. What is the correct number of lava coils in the mono red deck? Because I think I saw the Efro kind of Jerry T build of the red deck had four lava coil, and some of them, you know, pre the PT didn't really have any lava coils. So since there's two parts, uh, one is a comment, one's a question. We'll start with the comment. Um, I, I realized that I had cashed the last three Pro Tours in a row, and I'm like, yeah, that's pretty good. And then I saw that Reed Duke has cashed the last seven in a row, <laughs> and 80% in the last 10 years. Or maybe not 10 years, but it was like 80% in a long period, like 26 or something. So impressive. Pretty but uh, I think Lava Coil Main is a great place to be right now. It gets Banalish Marshall for cheaper than Wizards Lightning. The format's more aggressive. There's a lot of four toughness creatures. And also, if you're playing Mono Red against white based decks, Wizard Lightning can sometimes be expensive. And when you draw your Wizards to make it cheaper, your Wizards' bodies are inefficient in the matchup. So, like, even when your card's at its best, it's still not the best strategy. 
Sure. So I like having Lava Coals main. It's really good against all of these Drakes, uh, Banalish Marshals. Uh, uh, and I, and and also it allows for sure it's a worse card against control game one, but Teferi is just not that good of a strategy in this format, which is great because I thought Teferi was going to take over the last two formats. But uh, since that's the case, even though it's a dead card there, and sometimes it's not if, against like Crackling Drake versions, um, <clears throat> you get a bigger sideboard. So if you play Phoenix's main and your Lava Coal sideboard and you're always boarding your Phoenixes out uh, in most matchups, then... What are you? You're down to five. Mm -hmm. My six was four land opt. Go to six. My this hand we're, is we're... very good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Fair. fair, fair. Uh, no, I don't need no, your pity. Not yet. We are still okay. answering questions, sir. <clears throat> um, it's just it makes a lot of sense to have sideboard cards in your main, the more efficient one than like phoenixes that are main that that sometimes are good or bad, and therefore like it allowed them to have a very deep sideboard. And in a standard format that you're predicting, that's a great place to be. Now, I don't think that version of that deck is going to be the best move all throughout this entire format. But when you're able to do that, there's there's some merit to uh, putting sideboard options in the main. Mm -hmm. um, and and that was a really good one. Yeah, I mean, one, one, one of my uh, most fun types of deck building uh, situations I've had was trying to figure out my best possible 75 for a PTQ last Saturday. Uh, I was playing Golgari, and between main deck and sideboard, I had 76 cards that I liked, um, and I was trying to figure out a cut, And but I kind of wanted to cut like a card for my main deck, and that meant I had to basically play a card for my sideboard in my main deck, and mm. like I just had like this weird like half hour long trying to figure out the one card I want to bring in. And then at one point I like brought the card that I cut back and moved some of the sideboard and then I had to cut something from the sideboard. And it was just so much fun. It's, it's my decks. favorite part about magic yeah. is when you got 76 cards and you need to figure it out. Yeah. And, and a lot of times it you're right. You do have to move something from the sideboard to the main deck so that you have the perfect 75 for, for all the matchups. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, let's get into it. All right. Well, I have mulliganed to five and scribed to the bottom, and my hand is very good. Brad right. offered to give me a pity card. The pity card that I scribed at the bottom would not have helped. Okay. Well, I I'm going to uh, well, maybe a quick will. clarification here because we we're trying to figure out Guillaume's last name. That's your. That's the mono blue list. We're playing that uh, ten ode. Yeah. It is G A U T H I E R. I assume that's that a is weird way to pronounce the last name. Go Gautier, Gautier no, or it could be Gautier, Gautier or something. Gautier. Gautier. Guillaume Gautier. Yeah. And say. I am playing, and I don't remember who's the 10 list of, is it that... Uh, that it's, is it's, it's, it's Alejandro a, Oleo Garcia. Yeah, Alejandro Oleo Garcia. He he uh, did well at the Grand Prix, too, with this weird, unique one into the Royal, not into the Royal, uh, Blink, of an Blink of an Eye, and one Mirage Conjecture. Well, Two. I love Blink of an Eye, so I'm just going to say, yeah. But they combo a, together. He's a genius. <laughs> That's one downside of Arena. It doesn't let you respond to the trigger of your... Uh, you have to put on you have no to full, full control, full control you have to doesn't work. Full control, and you probably have to like hold a button so that you can respond to your own trigger. People say that it's not possible. It's not, if it's not possible to respond to your own trigger, then I don't want to live in this world. Anymore. It's just this one. It's just these sagas. Your turn. Oh, really? Yeah. Fuck. It's just the sagas. Ban sagas. Well, they spent too much time making the crazy animations. So. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. To whack you. Curious obsession. All unblockable creature. Draw a card. Go. All right. Well, oh, my was, turn is going to be very good. The Drake's list is uh, Pascal Vieran. There was a bunch of is it Drake's list. My bad. All right. I'm going to start my turn off. Oh, I probably punted this game what? already. No, I probably should have just like trickstered this on your upkeep instead of doing this because I already had the land. And then on my turn, go for like Curious Obsession with the attack, uh, followed by like a counter spell. Like that would have been sweet. Too late. I know. Well, you have your fun. Charter course. Counter it. Where is the counter? Counter. <laughs> Ooh, so this... clarifying the full control thing, apparently from the chat, it says full control works, but it is weird. If you just control, it won't work unless you're holding it. If you do shift control, it locks full control until you turn it off. And then it well, but work. does that work with sagas? Uh, they are saying yes. Okay. okay. All right. Well, then it works. All right. So here is an interesting turn for me. Um, if there's a dive down, then uh, we we can't really even get this Argolite Phoenix unless there is a dive down. All right. Whatever. I, I'm I'm going to get Tempest if I get Tempest. Love close. 
All right. Well, I'm just. I'm old to five, man. I'm going to shock you <laughs> to 18. Right. Arc Life Phoenix. Right. <laughs> five. All right. I'm at 13. All right. Go. All right. Uh, there we go. Boom. Okay. That's bad. And Boom. This is this is the worst case scenario for me. Nice. It's not good. I'm old to five, man. I, what do you want from me? Go. Woo! Woo we yeah, have a chance. It's, it's not good. We got a chance. Mm -hmm. Go. What's up? Play not your, much. Play your land. Nice. Play your torment. No, I'm just kidding. Go. All right, I will tap your burb. Bird down. Attack for this many. All right. You take four, 14, 14. to 13. Yeah. Uh, go. Upkeep. Mm, Draw. No. Thinking. Sap this, turn it off. All right. 10. Charter course. Counter it. All right, lava coil. Come on! <laughs> Your turn. You just like sandbagged the uh, charter course last turn? No, I sandbagged the lava coil. Was I tapped out? No, you, you had three men up. You said go with three men uh, up. Okay, okay. Rats. <clears throat> I got two aggressive. 12. Mm, I should just tap that. Uh. Play this. Yeah. Say go. More um, tricks. I don't know the trickster. I, I'm just gonna tap this. All right. Whatever, dude. I don't care. Draw. I'm dead. He's just gonna play Crackling Drake. And the game's over. Small oh, coil's good. Just want to point out this is on mold of five. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, no. This is this is this a competitive not, game. That's not for you. This is for for chat. All right. Okay, we'll keep it. Battle. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just supposed to block. Right. You go to nine. Yeah. Your turn. <clears throat> Seven to nine. Go. Draw. Attack for three, but you two, six. Six. Go. I'm at four. Go. I'll tap. Draw. Or I'll play a land. Go. Attack for this many. I'm at three. Go. Hmm. Hmm. Arclight Phoenix. Try to counter it. It's you got multiple wizards. So does it cost one blue then? Shock. You. Yeah, I'm dead. You have this. Oh, yeah, I counter it. Thanks for pointing out my cards. I appreciate it. All right. You're at one. I'm at one. Go. Wait. I'm just going to dive down this. It was no, I, ca I counter it. You, you didn't talk. Sorry, my head, for some reason, it's dead. It's yeah, dead. It's I countered yeah. the thing. Okay. Draw. Tempest Gen. Attack Attack down to one. one. Go. My bad. I need a good turn. I'm playing sloppy. <laughs> playing sloppy. Lava coil. All right, you win. <laughs> Fast. I don't win. win. How do you not win? I'm at. We're both at one life. Just play a creature to block. I don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that that might have got me. Did there. you just draw the lava coil that turn? Yeah. Okay. I had the shock the entire time, but I was going for like the draw. Oh, yeah. Better. I might have yeah, yeah. did that wrong, but. Not sure. I don't think you did it wrong. Because if, if if your thing doesn't resolve... Like I could have shocked super early and I would have taken none of that damage, but I still think that Tempest of Shame would have killed me. Mm, yeah. Like, if, if if I don't have the Storm Tamer in, in, a, in one of those spots, I think I just cast the Tempest Gen a turn yeah. earlier. Because I, I drew Tempest Gen, and my hand was Wizard's Retort, Dive Down, Tempest Gen. Yeah. And I, I thought about just, like, playing it there. Um, but I, I don't know. All right. Well, we're going to take a short three-minute break. Get your questions to Nick Miller about that game one. We'll talk about the game one, answer the questions after we get to sideboarding. Okay. Oh. So we're here for sideboarding. <laughs> uh, I'm still trying to figure out mine, so I'll let Brad start on this. Yeah, I was like deep in the take with mine as well. Um, so 
I'm not that confident in Arc Like Phoenix and Tormenti Voice being that good in this this uh, matchup. Also, Murmuring Mystic and Niv Mizzet are both great cards uh, uh, in, in this matchup. So I think I'm just going to lean on those to win the game. Uh, I have no idea if Murmuring Conjecture or Entrancing Melody are good, but I want to play with them. Sure. And so I'm I'm going full blown fun arena style here, and I'm just going to play with the cards I like. Okay, I mean, honestly, from uh, from my just playing against this deck quite a bit on Magic Online, um, I think against the mono blue deck, you want literally any piece of cheap interaction you can get, aside from counter spells. Like, yeah. if your opponent plays a, a one or two drop creature, and like, let's say you you want to board in like an essence scatter or whatever, if they play like something early. Um, your counter spells just always are bad when your opponent doesn't have to play into them. Yeah. And uh, if they already have a board presence, counter spells are just really bad. Um, yeah, negate can help you maybe win a counter spell fight over a removal spell or something, but that requires like a pretty decent amount of mana and a lot of things to go right. Yep. Uh, from you know, but I think something like entrancing melt. If you're just constantly um, threatening to kill my creature, no matter what, eventually you should run me out of stuff. Yeah. So, uh, from my side, the only card I don't know if I want to cut or not is Chart, of course. And there's not... The way this deck is constructed, we actually don't have room to sideboard that much stuff. Um, I like cutting Warkite Marauder always. I just hate the card. I don't know why. I'm deck. bringing the Negate in because you just talked all about that, and I want to get you with the Negate. Okay. If I have well, an Electromancer... I also have no idea why you would want Mirage Conjecture in your deck. Because it's matchup. fun. <laughs> um... So Charter Course on the draw is is not bad. Um, I just think that there's a chance that it just gets shut off. And at that point, I don't know how much I want just a two mana draw two discard one. Um, I want the exclusion mages. You need ways to be able to get uh, niv Mizzet off the, the battlefield. For even just a short while. Yeah, and plus like sometimes even just bouncing a Crackling Drake is not bad because it forces them to just tap four mana again. Uh, I think the Spell Pierce and Negate should be pretty good. And then Surge Mare uh, has five toughness, so it survives Lava Coil and uh, can also just like threaten to be huge chunks of damage. Yeah. It's very right. Frostburn weird-esque. All right, Nick, what do we got over there? Lol Tech asks, uh, what do you think about a Black Splash in the Drake's deck for uh, better removal as the mana is pretty good? Well, I, I think that the removal in the Drake's deck is already fantastic. The removal is Shock, Lava Coil, and, and Beacon Bolt. Like, what, what, what removal are we getting that makes it better? Uh, I think this is the same person who asked the question on my stream the other day. Uh, basically, they want to play Moment of Craving to, and cast other... Cast Down. Cast Down. But mostly because a Dada Vanguard is impossible to kill. And I think the Entrancing well, Melody fixes that, so you don't really yeah. need it. So. And and Murmuring Mystic also fixes that. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, do you guys think the evolution of the standard format will slow down now that we're after the uh, Pro Tour? Or... <laughs> Usually it speeds up. And it, it's format dependent. And also the Pro Tour, we just we did not have cohesiveness. Like at the Pro Tour, like we found a lot of great builds. I think like certain decks maybe, like Golgari. We're just figuring out the best way to build Golgari through through um, Doom Whisper, but like every deck is still has a ton of arguing about it. It wasn't like uh, red black or to or blue white control from last format. Both those decks were like looked very similar. Everyone had very similar builds of them. So, yeah. all right. Well, I'm good to keep. Yeah, my hand's great. Go. Right, I'm gonna start off with the Siren Storm Tamer. Chad wants to know if we can get the Yu-Gi-Oh! Brad narration back for a game. <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead. Let's do it. I will cast Goblin Electromancer. Your turn. And no, that's it. That's all you get. <laughs> all right. We're going to hit you for one and play a Surge Mare. Your Ooh, turn. that's big. He big. So if I can't block it. It's it, a looter. It can't block me. What? A block. All right. Lava Coil it. Sure. All right. Shock that. Okay. Go. Temp's gen, go. Aw. Basically, just making Lava them have... Coil. Come on! <laughs> Attack for two. Your 18. Turn. What happened to, to narration, Brad? I ca I said all of the cards that I'm casting. Uh, let's go Curious Obsession. Oh, go. no. Or post-combat. Wait, is this, how does this work? I want to make sure my thing don't, won't just fall off. No, you can't. It will fall off. You have to hold it. Sorry, sorry. All right, go. You have to hold it. Attack. Uh, I'll go to 16. All right. I will cast a Murmuring Mystic. 
Okay, your turn. Oh, so those coiled creatures are exiled. Oh, yeah. Get them out of here. All right. Curious possession. Resolves. Curious possession. Ah! Attack for three. Ah! Okay. Draw two. Six. Harold, go. Not good. Oh, no. Attack you. Uh, take three. I'm at 13. Murmuring Mystic. Wizard's retort. No! Your turn. This is going so badly. I mean, if you just draw a spell, you get to keep me from drawing a bunch of cards. Three, four, put you at 12. Draw two. Go. I just really need to draw another. Part Part of the cards. (sighs) All right. Well, that's a pretty good one. (laughs) Radical idea. Trigger. Crap. Fine. You don't want to count. Oh, radical idea from the hand trigger. I love that Brad was so upset. Draw a card. (laughs) Brad was so upset. All right. Radical idea again, trigger. I probably should have just negated the first one. So many ideas. I guess it wouldn't have mattered. Draw. Yeah. And, oh. then I, and then this didn't do the thing. Yeah. Tag. I don't even know if I want to tag with this anymore. I don't want it to get <clears throat> blown up. All right. I'll just attack for one. Yeah. 15? No. Uh, oh, you're at 12? I'm a, I missed the attack from last time. Okay. I will play a tap one and say go. Okay. All right. Let's play an opt. The problem is we have no way to, to kill this, so we are basically dead because we can no longer get through these. Attack. I'll just block with one. Yep. You take one, you're at 11. Yep. I'll play another one of these. Your turn. I think I might have been able to win if this was just this earlier. If the Miss Cloak Herald came you know, down card? before this, I have two. Two? All right, I'm, I'm going to attack both now. Yep, I'm at nine. Do you have a counter spell? Yes. Okay. Nib miss it. <laughs> Your turn. Dude, I get it. I get it. It's because the card says it can't be countered. It is. Ah, oh, don't let me. Let me trigger it. I want to trigger. I've never triggered Nib miss it. That sucks. I have. Yeah, I know. Like, that's also just a lie. <laughs> Either it's a lie or that is the saddest thing I have heard. Yeah. I got to cast Niv Mizzet in a draft on Arena last night. We don't care about you, Nick. For the first I care time, about me. <laughs> no, it was amazing. Draft. Yeah, it was incredible. Oh, I almost decked myself twice. Yeah, it's unbelievable. <laughs> if uh, if you ever get to untap with Niv yeah. especially in that deck, the game is over. Like that's it's it's disgusting. In draft, the meta was like my opponent just played so many spells they almost decked me via that. It was it was nuts. But, All right, uh, Nick. Any questions? Yes, we have. Um, if I can read my own writing. Nice. <laughs> what uh, cards that are in standard right now do you think we'll see the most play or more play once we get the next five guilds? Oh, I don't know. That's just... Uh... Oh, hey, do you want to write an entire article in word, spoken word form right now for me, personally? Yeah, I don't know. No. Okay, then. No, I don't. If, if my, <laughs> my best guess is Pelt Collector will fit quite nicely in... Gogo, in, in Simic? N- well, it is a Simic card, but Simic or, or Gruel. Sure. I think it'll fit quite nicely. Um, I mean, it's just a good Wizards, card. Wizards normally likes to put sleeper cards in right before things are going to come out, like one or two that are going to be busted later. They just It's kind of their fun thing, and that just seems like the one. Uh, someone asked, what are your guys' favorite token arts? Favorite token magic. arts? Yeah. That's a... I would have to see a lot. I'm going to reconstruct my hand. I just mulligan. I don't think it's actually a mulligan. Really? Yeah. Mostly, I just want to see how good Surge Mare is when I get to start attacking with it. Because right. I can loot away stuff, and you have a really tough time killing it. I, I, I know I need one more land to make this great. One but... land, Electromancer, what? <laughs> I'm going to keep it. Wow. It's risky, but I'm going to keep it. Okay. Uh, so on my side, we, we are a little mana heavy, but I think this hand is... Okay, just because I want to see how good Surge Mirror is in this matchup. My hand needs another land to go full blown, but I think it's good. Your turn. Opt v opt, I'm guessing. Go. Wow. 
All right. Uh, we don't need another land, so we'll bottom. We'll play Surge Mayor. All right. All right. Perfect. Turn two Electromancer. Eight, Again, Electromancer. every game. Really? Your turn. Wow. Just always has turn two Wild Growth Walker. Always has turn two Electromancer. Ugh. Attack. I'm going to pump it so you take uh, down to 16, and I'm going to draw a discard. Okay. And I kind of want the land now since I just drew a bunch of spells in a row. Hmm. All right, go. Ah, that's not right. I'm just going to discard this. Okay. Yep. So 18 me? Yeah, 18 you. Charter course? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to play my land and play charter course. Mm -hmm. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. 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 <laughs> mm. Interesting. Interesting. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. Uh, go. Go. Mm. 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 Upkeep. Try to cast this to tap that and turn it off. Mm. 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 Interesting. Very interesting. All right. <laughs> I'm going to counter it. Whatever four drop it is. Go. Huh. Sure. G for 12. I kind of just want to pump him again. Wow. Well, you, it's really hard for you to kill him. My hand is set up in a way where I think I, I just want to push 10. damage. Like, I don't have... I have some reactive stuff, but it's not like counter Perfect. Spells, yeah, sure. You know? All right. Well, I'm at 10. Maybe. Plus, I have to kind of get you before Nickel Bolas comes down. That is true. Go. All right. Oh, yes. I don't even know what I want to do with my turn. It's so good. Uh-oh. What would you uh -oh. do? Tell me. Would you steal two of your creatures or... Oh, wait. Oh, I thought I had this. Never mind. That's what I'm going to do then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yikes. All right. I'm going to steal that and that. Mm -hmm. Gimme, 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 gimme. Oh, should I put in a trancy melody, Todd? I don't know. It seems like it's not very good. Your turn. I'm good in trancy melody, your surge mare, and then your siren storm chamber because you're tapped out. Great. Let's <laughs> opt. You opt to find a good card. That was actually really good. I'm going to. Bounces. Ooh, rude. Attack. I could have countered that if I had a mana. Yeah. Eight. Um, go. All right. Draw. Going to play a Crackling Drake. Yep. Draw a card. And you have three cards, yep. and one of them is the Mayor. Yep. And now I have a blocker for it, but it's not a good one. But I can try to get aggressive. You're at 16. You know that all your creatures can block my search mirror, right? It's an anti-green card. Oh, I thought it was an anti-red card. No, 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 no. Oh. So you know. The white one is anti-red. The white one's anti. Yeah, no, that's right. I Yeah, I was playing it wrong the entire time. That's okay. Lava coil. Attack. I'll take three. You're at 13. Uh, I have myself at 15. Did I miss an attack last turn? There was yes, two attacks. 16 down to 13. Last turn. All right, your turn. <clears throat> well, two giant fishy horses. Two surge mirrors. Miss Cloak mm. Herald for the turn. No text because Crackling Drake checks Merfolk Trickster. Double entrancing melody. I, I'm glad I was able to like functionally mm. counter one, but it just took all the wind out of my aggressive sails. And I had to use a I'm at eight. exclusion mage on my own thing instead of his crackling drake to push damage. You're at eight. I'm at 13. You currently have a 4-4 four, four flying creature. And that can be five damage? 
can shock me and go for the turn two two turn kill. I think. Right? I, I I should have that if I play some more spells anyway. Sure. All right, I am going to shock that. You did. If I can get to my mountain, and then I'm going to attack you with all my creatures. Uh, Walk. Lava coil it. Yep. Um, so you were going to take, you took, took one, two, six. three, four, five, six. So you're at, I'm at seven. You're at seven. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and you have one card. And you're going to get to loot. Um, go. I might have to like pump the brakes if this turn goes poorly for me, but. No box. Yep. Take three. And we'll go to five. five. They're saying you cast Lava Coil in combat? You no, did I did it after. Combat. I did it okay. post combat. We didn't count it. Okay. We took, it was five plus one. One, two, three, four, five. Just clarifying. Yeah, the board is correct. All right, so right now there's five. Lava coil. Shock. Yeah, you win. I win. Wow. I win. You got me. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> no, the, the 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 turn where you went bananas with uh stealing two, two creatures. Two, stealing two creatures was was basically was put good, me on yeah. so, so far behind that it was It bad. put me on such tilt that <laughs> no, that's no, what I'm that actually was super hear. mad. I hate losing so much that I am my state of mind right now is that I hate you. No, no. <laughs> and I never want to be your Roll friend. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. Okay, Roll now we're tide. good. We're good? Yeah. Yeah. But I'm still going to crush oh, you next I already next told week. Todd, we were talking about like hating surprises. I'm like, you know what? This is a good time to bring this up then. I am getting you the perfect Christmas gift. What? And I was like, but it's it, it's not for you. Uh, I'm decking oh, my I'm, I'm, de <laughs> yeah, I'm decking my fiance and I. Out in complete Alabama gear so that when we go out to watch the games in public, we don't look like disgraces. We don't look like embarrassments. Yeah. Yeah. The, so I'm getting like the hoodies, the shirts, the the beanies. Nice. Yeah. I just want just want you to know, Brad, because you, you I feel like you are a bit insulated from this because uh you are not like a from Alabama, right? Are you trying to call me a bandwagon fan? No, I was actually gonna say you've been you've been okay. You, first of all, you've been on the bandwagon for so long that you are just a part of the caravan. Yeah. Right? That's yeah. fine. That's how being a fan works. Yeah. You start as a fan, and then you continue to be the fan, and then you are no longer a bandwagoner. That's Great. not a thing, right? Yeah. Okay. Alabama is the uh, New England Patriots of college football. Well, I'm very aware of that. Everyone hates me when I say Roll Tide. Oh, I know that, but it's fun. It's exhausting. It's exhausting being on top. Yeah, it's ex it's exhausting. Yeah, being I did, better I did than, so much to get here. You yeah, know? it's was, exhausting. It's all me. Yeah, it's exhausting being an Alabama fan because they're so much better than every other team out there. Wow. <laughs> You're just baiting right now. Yeah. Mm. Mm -mm. That's bait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna uh, say. I thought you were gonna say that I'm not a true fan because in the championship game when Tatsuyova came out to Tag 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 I could never say his last name so uh in my uh, fan. in my well hydrated state I just started calling him Chupacabra <laughs> to a Chupacabra <laughs> to a Chupacabra <laughs> to a Chupacabra <laughs> all right uh, let's answer some questions from Twitch chat uh Zeppa said Brad I saw you recently in a conversation on Twitter about testing standard on arena and people are wondering if you know, that's going to replace Magic Online? And do you fear that, you know, it's it's only, only going to be the cheaper, more budget decks if you if you do that? So the, it, <laughs> can I can I take this for or can I start this? You can start it. I watched Brad's stream last night for like three hours and they played competitive constructed uh, cues or whatever events. events. Yeah. They didn't play against a bad deck. They I literally played to. against Boros. Is it Drake's? Just or the, you didn't even play against a Just Guy Control deck. You played against Golgari. I played, yeah. You know, it was just literally the gambit of the good decks, and yeah. th th there was never a budget card played. Like everyone no. had their Vrasis Contempts, and everyone had Carnage Tyrants, and you just got mauled with Golgari. You, yeah. you and BBD last night, your win percentage was not good. That's not even true. Well, in the time I was watching, okay. I started we streaming went eight, at seven. three total. 
I watch you lose more than three matches. No, mm. it's not possible. You lost the okay. What? How's that not possible? Because I, I went one two in my first Golgari, then he went five zero with is it when he had a loss already on that queue, and I'm counting it, and then I went two zero with Golgari, and we called it a night. Oh well, I okay. Maybe I only saw the first like five matches because you lost a lot of them. Oh, I did. I did early. lose early. Yeah, um, I, I watched you lose two with Golgari, and then you just immediately well, jumped this, in. Is let's that... sweep this under the rug. No. Well, this you part, lost okay, a bunch. Fine, I lost a bunch. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm no, sorry. but for for the point of the the thing. So I also was um, dismissive of change. I just, you know, was obstinate. I loved Magic Online. And then I tried Arena, and I loved it so much that I started playing it. And the argument, immediately after the argument, uh, immediately after I started playing Arena, the argument of, it's well, it's not competitive. It's like, well, it's not if you all, if you all ain't going to come over to the good side yeah. and play standard on Arena. If everyone comes over there and they have a good pairing system, built into it, mm. then of course it's going to be competitive. And it's going to, if if enough people play it, that they get a good structure for pairing, for skill, then everyone gets to play within their skill levels. And that's great. That's good for everyone. That's the yeah. best way to play Magic. Mm -hmm. um, and that's a great pairing system. So the whole like not having it be competitive enough and stuff, I haven't seen it yet. I really haven't witnessed it. And also, I played more in, in my time of playing Guilds of Ravnica Constructed, on Magic Online and Arena, and I'm only using the last four weeks um, to say this, I have played against more competitive decks on Arena than on Magic Online. On Magic Online, I'll play against, like, Jeskai, uh, um, Chromatic Sphere, whatever, the Chromatic, the three drop, the rock, the mana lantern. rock. Chromatic Lantern mm -hmm. with the the XX uh, new Walking Ballista. The, sure. the the two drop or, or like whatever the extra something drop. century yeah the yeah. century chamber century and there's one person watching me and like hey I take offense to that <laughs> <laughs> that's the deck I was yeah, like yeah. oh yeah okay. and, and and you know like there's there's these decks so like I've only seen arena be awesome I I, I think it's a great product um, it's been a long a long time since I will fully just go out there and say wizards is killing it with something and I'm super proud of it and I'm very happy about it and that's arena. Yeah, honestly, uh, I was I was like uh, streaming a bunch of Magic Online recently, and I just like one of my favorite streamers from uh, uh, Battlegrounds. Uh, just, he's he's an old school Hearthstone player. Yeah, and he just started playing Arena. I think he was sponsored to start, and he now he's just playing it because it's fun. Yeah, and um, he started playing Arena, and I, I I watched the stream for for like an hour one day, and I just like hovered over the screen, and all the cards that were on the battlefield popped up. The arena there was, extension, there was yeah. an extension. All the cards. I could just see all the cards. And I was so mad that I sold my entire Magic Online collection. I kid you not. I was so mad. I sold my entire Magic Online collection. And now, you know, I just I just got a guy who just loans me everything. Yeah. I was just, I was just so Well, mad. and I'm going to be working on getting my collection built up. And I'm going to have to do it in, like, ways that I don't want to do it. Because yeah. it seems like it's a slow burn to just play Constructed to get accumulate cards. So I'll have to do draft limited. Stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Constructed is such a slow burn. I'm not going to get enough things. Yeah, I mean, I think if if you want to get super deep into it, you should just play a whole bunch of the the drafts that, uh, like the one game drafts. Do the quick drafts. Quick drafts. Yeah. Those are actually just fun. I no, bet, they are fun. I, I honestly, from, from just like a, a player perspective, uh, the one game matches are just way more fun to me than playing sideboarded games because I just... I don't want to think about sideboarding. I just want to pummel you with my, is it Drake's deck? Well, but that's the issue. That's the great thing about Arena and, and what they're doing right about it. Now, we're not going to talk about all the things. There's there's some things about the economy that I would like to see cleaned well, up and they're, they're aware they're, of it. They're, they're, yeah. But the thing, the thing that I'll keep hammering into people that ask me this question is Magic Online simulates real life magic and Arena is a game. Yeah. And it doesn't have to play by all the same rules, but they allow us to if we want to. Yeah, we can still can play still by the same rules on take Arena. Take full control of your turn, yes. and you get to respond to your own triggers so that you can do a thing if you want to. Yeah, you can. You can still do that if if all the modern theoretically just got thrown onto Arena right now, which I don't even agree should happen. But if it does, you could play Storm, right? You could remand your own Storm cards. That's possible. Yeah, but at the same time. I can just have one hand and not worry about F2 and F4 and F6 and all this and just throw my cards onto the board and then it just does it all for me. I'm like, throw a land into play and then it's like, it's your turn already. And I'm like, well, that was fast. And, the, and there's, the, there's the one time out of like 20 games or whatever where the auto tapper kind of messes you up and you're just like, I'm never doing that again. But if you just... Well, I've never even been frustrated about it. I'm just like, I'm playing I've, a video game. Sometimes, some, you know, I like, will say this. It has messed me up 
one time, and after that, I basically just hover over my card to see how it's going to tap. Yeah, out. and it's usually right. But if you Sometimes screw it up, it's, it's your fine. fault. Right. And the auto tap was so convenient. Instead of going click, 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 yeah. click, click, yeah. cast it's my so five drop. <laughs> it makes yeah. the game so fast. And when yeah. you do, oh, it's great. You can get through them. When you do the okay. quick drafts, so this, you can draft honestly, and we should, finish it in an hour. This is not a sponsored stream. And I want to ask them for money at some point. So can we move on? Before <laughs> no, we lose all of our so leverage. Much. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> I, I do think a Magic, Magic Green is a great product. Uh, it's still in beta. So if you encounter a bug or there's something you don't like about it, they are taking your feedback. So if you want to mm -hmm. go play, send them to messages. They want to know what's working and what's not so that they can fix it. I will also say from, from my pro peer perspective, Every single person that's like, I have not touched Arena for whatever X reason. And then we're like, try it. And then they try it. They immediately like it. And they go back to being like, like kind of the fun. Like I just saw a, a pro friend of mine that just started playing. It's like, well, I think I broke the Golgari and they sent a picture and it's like bone dragon and all this stuff in their hand. Cause that's all the cards they have. <laughs> you know, so like that's the deck they have, you know, but they're like, I, awesome. I finally figured out how to build yeah. Golgari and they're enjoying it. And like, Another friend of mine is like, well, I used up all of my like wild cards, so I only have one entrancing melody. So I'm just gonna have to hope the card's good for the GP. Yeah. You know, but like this is this is fun. Like we have been like I personally have become a very jaded Magic Online. The experience on Magic Online for me is testing and frustration, and the experience on Arena is just fun and excitement. Yeah. And and not I didn't think that Magic there that 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 part of my Magic life could ever happen again, where I just genuinely enjoy the games that much i i'll say this i played the entire tutorial oh i skipped that i played the entire tutorial yeah. it was awesome the the it just if if i was a new magic player i i just kept thinking to myself like that's really interesting how they explain that you know there's a little floating orb that's a lot like navi that speaks, from, to, you, yeah. that speaks to you a lot like navi from uh uh ocarina of time <laughs> and there's a point where Navi goes away, and I was just like, "No, no, no, <laughs> no! Why? No, come back!" And then, and then you can like they should program the Navi to like do whatever. So like it's kind of like your like Siri word commands, like it, your phone understands mm -hmm. your language, yeah. and like Todd's in a year is just like top deck that bane fire. <laughs> wow, that was aggressive. That was an aggressive table slam. All that right, Todd. Uh, we are going to take a short break while we prepare the third round of the Mono Blue Gauntlet. I'm having a lot of fun just. I'm enjoying today. Yeah. Off today, you know, just yeah, having some fun. Having some fun talking about magic. It's. I feel like we're in a really good place right now as far as like magic is amazing. Yeah, standards fantastic. Arena. Home run, uh, and I'm just having a blast. So, yeah. I don't know. But we're going to take a short break while we prepare the third round of the Mono Blue Gauntlet. We'll be right back. Stay tuned.